In this tutorial, I will show you how you can do trimming within Flex Clip. You already have your footage imported into the project and you'll have a thumbnail. The simplest way to start is simply move your mouse over the thumbnail and you will see a few options. Do nothing, just simply press on your thumbnail. So I've been in the industry for about 30, your clip will automatically start playing. But now you have two options, right side and left side. You have these little handles if you click and drag you can then use the preview window where it is within your footage or in your timeline and then release. Now the consequences of this. Okay, and if you like that, you go up to the orange plus sign, click on it and it will end up putting it here in your timeline. But let's do something different. Let's go back to the start. What I want so to do, in the industry for about whoop, 30. what I wish to do, I wish to edit or trim the clip using the audio file, specifically something like a talking head. So what we'll do is bring the entire project, click on that, into our timeline. What we need to do now is detach the audio from the clip so we can see the audio file and therefore we can trim it easier. So right click, detached audio. Now this will take a few seconds because what it will do, it will actually try and save the audio file separately. So you have the option of saving it. I don't wish to save it, cancel, but it is actually here. So I've been in the industry for, there you go. Now, now that you have the audio file, you can see here I've got major pauses and this is what I want to eliminate, specifically here. Let's drag this clip over here, bring the timeline or the, the scrubber over here and you can see me actually thinking. Let's have a listen. Right, so I'm not saying anything, so therefore I do not want this in my final export. So what are we going to do here is drag the current time indicator or the little scrubber mark, click on your actual main footage and then we're going to trim it. We will use over here a split and then we're going to drag the clip to where the audio starts again and we're going to do that again. Split and we're going to do the exact same thing on our audio file. Bring it in, it will actually snap it into place, split and then snap it into place. Oh, sorry about that. Do not use this trim button. I will show you how you could use the trim button in another way. And then simply what we do is delete this footage. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I got a bit excited there. Delete that footage. Now I'm going to show you something which may make you a little bit confused. I've deleted it, but now my audio is much shorter. So if I drag that audio back here, it'll snap into place. Where's the audio for the remainder of the clip? Well, simply here. We drag it to the end. For some reason, Flex Clip will actually hide that. So you will need to drag that something very simple but it is something you want to keep in mind so now if we play that to versions of themselves instead of trying to amass a leak so the audio and the video file lines up neatly now if you want to do some more precise editing let's say over here you can see me just about to look away all right what i can do i can zoom in on that clip and I can have a really good look at the audio file. And as you can see, there's a little bit of, of wasted space there, or I'm not saying anything. So I wish to get rid of that too. But we can do that slightly different. I can highlight this clip, go over here. My cursor turns into a left or right arrow, and then I can trim that. Okay, for some reason, it snaps all the way back. Fair or not. And I can do the same thing here. I can actually pull that in line. You can see it moves along nicely. And then all I need to do is realign that clip once again with the audio file here. And just to make sure, to make sure this one is again pulled out. It's a little bit of work here, but after a while, you'll get used to it and you can work very, very quickly to edit this trim or trim the clip, especially where you are not saying anything here at all. So let's have a look at another way that we can trim the clip. So let's take a look at another option on how we can trim our clips. Let's reintroduce this clip to the timeline. And now we can do two things. We can either just keep it there. And if I drag my mouse, you'll see it looks like a pause button. Click and drag. And I can shorten that clip here, release. And now I've literally trimmed the clip. And I can do that from the other side as well. Click and drag and then release. So that is obviously one way to do it. But I want to do it slightly different. I want to introduce you to this little icon here called the trim icon. So let's... Uh, Re redo all that, control Z, control Z. All right, so we're back to the beginning. I'll just hit this little icon here, fit the screen. And now I wanna use the trim options. So I'm gonna hit that little trim icon and you'll see it's slightly different. I'm gonna click and drag it. And I'm gonna roughly go to about 10 seconds of a clip 
and release. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab this clip. If I click and hold it, my thumb or my little cursor finger will turn into a little fist. And then I can click and drag that left or right. And I can watch the preview screen to see exactly where I want that 10 second clip to start or finish. Let's say here, I release, I click anywhere on the screen, and now I've trimmed that clip exactly to that 10 seconds. Now I can go back and reintroduce that clip and redo the whole thing again. Maybe I want to trim it, say, at towards the end. So I'll click and drag. Let's go over here for, they say, 10 seconds. Click and drag. So now I've trimmed this clip into two 10 second parts. And I can always go back. I can simply go hit click or trim again, click on it, and what you'll see is now I can drag that clip again. So I can always go back and readjust it. Maybe I just want to readjust the length of it. Not a problem. I can make it longer again. So 20 seconds. So I have a lot of controls at my fingertips simply using this little trim icon or literally using the end markers on the left and the right side. And there you go, my friends. Now you know how to trim your clip in FlexClip. And as always, thanks for watching.